Today we're going to be talking about a game that, let's be honest, you've probably already heard about. It's called The Witcher. It is a PC Western style RPG done by a group company of some awesome fellows whose names I can never pronounce properly, but it's basically CD Projekt Red. Forgive me if I'm messing that up. And it's a unique style of RPG because honestly, while I call it a Western RPG in the similar vein to Baldur's Gate or Neverwinter Nights or Dragon Age, it has a slightly different feel that I'm going to just go ahead and start calling a European RPG, but it doesn't really fit into the Japanese RPG genre as well. It does its own thing. There's a great deal of focus on themes and philosophical and ideological discussions rather than a huge focus on characterization and whatnot, and it really likes to flesh out its setting as you're going through it. The gameplay itself is something that, honestly, if you've played most of the other type of games that I mentioned previously, you already have a good idea of what you're getting into. There's, you know, your standard style of combat, not much in the way of camera control, pause button to be able to think about your actions, multiple different actions you can take in combat other than just hack at the other guy. The one truly interesting feature about this that is unique from the other games that I've played on this list is a sort of a rhythm-based, interactable, not quite quick time event, not quite action RPG thing, where if you use uh, input at certain proper moments, you will extend your combo and do better, stun lock the opponent, do more damage, that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun, a lot more fun than I'm making it to sound right now. But again, honestly, there's not much else I can say about the gameplay in such a short video. If you want more thoughts on it, and indeed the story and the concepts and whatnot in general, please feel free to watch my lengthier and more in-depth rumination that I'll be putting out very shortly after this video. So why are you playing this game? Probably playing it for the story. Is the story worth it? One of the best compliments I can give this game is that even though I was doing the game for the show, you know, for these videos that you're watching right now, I still felt compelled and interested enough to actually keep playing it because I wanted to see what happened next. I wanted to see where things were going. I wanted to learn more about this world that all these events were taking place in. I wanted to learn more about what was going on with the, the nations in the distance and the politics and the, the cold dark that was coming from the north and all this other fun stuff. And... Well, I don't want to spoil too much, and I don't want to put any spoilers in general in this video. Suffice it to say that I do recommend the game. It's available right now on Steam for a mere $10, which is a bargain, I would think, personally, for both the amount of gameplay you get and the replayability, because one thing that The Witcher does very well is your choices, I know this is going to sound crazy, actually matter. I know that's something that's touted a lot, but trust me when I say that some of your decisions that you make really do have a significant effect on the story and the way things progress. Not so much changing the destination as the path you take to get there, which I think personally is the best way to do that in a video game format. One of the other things, if I might digress for just a moment, that they did very well with this, is they made it so that your choices don't always have an immediate impact. You don't always know exactly what's going to happen, so you can't just reload and say, well, I don't like that result. Instead, you will see the impact of your decisions further on down the line, which not only makes sense, but also prevents the possibility of you just saying, going through and reloading and reloading until you get the outcome you really want. Whether that's a net positive or a net negative is probably going to depend on your opinion, but I like it personally. And it did make me very seriously think about all the actions I took within the game, so there's that. Bottom line, I do recommend it definitely. Witcher does get an assessment of recommended for Martian Gaia. Take that or leave it for whatever it's worth. Talk to you guys later.